Before we begin, let's first expand the workspace by pressing Command and then the plus sign on your keyboard. Go to the end of your first clip. Go back two frames by simply pressing the left arrow key twice. Slice the clip with the blade tool by pressing Command B on your keyboard. Moving on, go to the beginning of your second clip. Go forward two frames by simply pressing the right arrow key twice. Same thing here. Slice the clip using the blade tool by simply pressing Command and then B on your keyboard. Select these two portions of the clips, head over to the Video Inspector, under Transform, scale your project down to 50%. Select this portion of your first clip, right click and then select New Compound Clip option. Click OK or simply hit Enter. Do the same thing to the beginning portion of your second clip. So now that you have two new compound clips, select both of them. Bring out the effects browser. Go down to the search bar and then type in Collider Tile. Double click on that. Let's start with this portion of the clip. This may sound and look a bit tricky to some at first, but I'll try my best to explain and go through it slowly with you guys. And do feel free to pause at any time. So I'm going to choose this middle spot right here as my starting point. Once I've select this, I'm going to then extend it to the left until I can see the black bars. That's when I know that I've exceeded the clip's length, and therefore I'll need to pull it back and make sure that I've aligned my clip carefully so that the black bar disappears. Same thing applies to the opposite of this rectangle. Select the middle spot, extend it until it reaches its maximum width, and make sure that the black bars are not visible. Move on to the second portion and do the exact same thing. Now that's all done, select both of these two portions of the clips, head over to the Video Inspector, under Transform, set the scale all to 200%. Go to the beginning of this portion of the clip, select it, and then head back to the Video Inspector. Under Transform, set the rotation to 0 and add a keyframe to it, by clicking this diamond icon right here. Go to the end of your first clip. Under Transform, set the rotation to minus 45 degree. Go to the beginning portion of your second clip. Under Transform, this time set the rotation to 45 degree and then add a keyframe to it. Go to the end portion of this clip. Back to the Video Inspector, this time set the rotation back to zero. Now that's all done, select these two portions of the clip. Bring out the effects browser, in the search bar, type in radial. Double click on that. Select this beginning portion of the clip, set the radius amount to zero, and add a keyframe to it. Go to the end of your first clip, and then set the radius amount to 25. Go to the beginning portion of your second clip, head back up to the video inspector, this time, just simply add a keyframe to it by clicking this diamond right here. Go to the end portion of this clip. This time, set the radius amount back to zero. And now we're all done. Let's take a look at what we've got. And that's it for today's tutorial, buddy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial somewhat helpful. And if you did, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. Good luck with your project and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.